guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be a review of the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. I'm sure you already know that from the title if you've clicked on this video. Um, I'm going to keep my thoughts until the end of the video, uh, but so make sure that you watch it all the way through to see what I feel about this foundation. But it is the foundation that I'm wearing right now, so this is just to give you a quick sneak peek of what it's looking like underneath a full face. I feel as though lately with a lot of products, there's just so much hype created around um, with influencers and that kind of thing that you never really know whether a product is really as good as it is or whether it's kind of just like paid and promoted hype that's kind of going around it. So right here, we're gonna bust the myths. We're gonna put this foundation to the test and you can get this in Kenya, so don't worry, I'll make sure to leave all the information in the video where you can pick this up. Um, so I'm not giving you something that you can't get your hands on if you do want to buy it. Yeah, so I'm not going to ramble too much or to give too much away about my thoughts uh, before we get into the video. Uh, but of course, before I go, I cannot forget to go without letting you know and reminding you, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Join the fam, bam, I love having you around. Um, so please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy the video and you'd like me to do more of these reviews um, of new foundations as they come out, definitely give the video a thumbs up so that I know that's what you're interested in. Uh, otherwise, I think that's enough chit chat for now. Uh, my socials, as usual, I'll leave them down below, blah, 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 how to contact me. But otherwise, let's just get straight into all right, so I'm coming to you looking a bit ghost face killer. That's because I have gone in with some reinforcements on my face. So I've gone in with Rimmel Stay Matte Primer just all over my face um, just to help with that mattification. And then because I've also heard that this foundation is a little bit not dewy, but not so matte. I've also gone in for extra reinforcements with my Becca Ever Matte, and I've just hit that in my T-zone. So that's why that extra shadow is there. I'm contemplating whether I should go in with some powder beforehand, but I think I wanna see how the foundation sits just with primer underneath. So I'm gonna chance it. <laughs> I haven't covered up my beauty marks because of the claims of the foundation and everyone's talking about how great this is for like super high coverage so we're going to put that to the test so I've got the foundation here pure first impression so I'm just going to cut away um, it has got perforations in but sometimes this comes off weird so I'm just going to cut away the seal okay and take off the pump so it looks like this. Oh, by the way, I am in the shade 362 Truffle. When I say I am in the shade, I picked up 362 because I heard that if you get the same colour as you usually get in the Fit Me, then it will end up being a bit lighter. So I've gone for 362 in the hopes that it will match me down once it dries. So let's see. Loving the pump, of course, fantastic. So I'm going to just pump this. three pumps that is on the back of my hand there and just for comparison real quick let me just dab a little bit of the mocha next to it and see ah right okay so according you probably can't see this on screen but it is pretty much a dead on match for mocha. So if you usually the 360, go up and get the 362 truffle. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a sponge and let's see. So I've just picked up a little bit on there and this is pure first impressions. Haven't tried this, haven't swatched this. <laughs> let's go. Okay. Guys, they were not joking about the coverage. This is insane. <laughs> I don't know what you can see on screen. 
but this is not only giving me intense coverage but it's almost kind of like pore refining like my skin looks amazing let me continue This coverage is no joke and I don't know whether it is because I've laid on quite a bit of primer but it actually does look like it's drying down matte. So far so impressed guys right this is the place where they're going to tell because I've got quite a few dark marks over here so I'm just going to dab a little bit on That completely covered it. The hype is real, y'all. The hype is real. At least so far in terms of coverage and finish. My skin, even with all the troubles that it has on it at the moment, looks so good under this foundation. I'm shook. <laughs> I hate that word, but yes, a girl is shook. I need to add on one extra pump for my forehead. The pumps aren't um, a lot, you don't get too much. Like it doesn't come out too much onto the back of your hands, so I don't feel like you would waste product. Um, this is amazing. Colour wise, now that I've put it onto my skin, I would say that it is fairly similar to Mocha. Um, and as I usually say guys, don't worry about this when you see this next to my neck and onto the perimeter of my face. Because I always go in with bronzer and contour and stuff to help the edges blend in. Um, I've worn a high neck top today, but what I'm usually trying to do is to balance out the colour between my chest and my face and not my neck. So don't worry too much about that. Plus I'm also under lights, which does distort how things look. But let me tell you, this foundation... Go get it, guys. Ah, look what I've just done. Okay. I'm going to come back and fix that. Let me try and lift some of that off. This coverage is insane and it has dried down matte. We'll test it out in a second to see how it transfers, but it feels like a powdery matte finish. Um... I'm hoping it's going to remain like this in terms of finish during the day. And it does dry down quite quickly, so I would just say work quickly. And look, I've got this amount of coverage with a sponge. I don't even think you would need it, but if you wanted it, you could go in with like a brush, like a domed dense brush or like a kabuki brush that was like flat. And snatch your entire sins away like get redemption <laughs> get saved this foundation has hidden all of my sins It's of course not hiding bumps of acne, no foundation can do that, so I can still see the places where I've got little spots, um, but in terms of the texture of the skin elsewhere, I feel as though it's done a really good job of kind of just like pore refining or pore blurring. I don't know what you call that, but guys, this foundation is bomb. 
I haven't even worn it out, but mwah, this might be new foundation every day. This might be it. I was obsessed with the Fit Me for a while um, as my everyday foundation. But this is coming through. What's it looking like to you? Let me know down below. Um, and for the price point of this foundation, it's amazing. I think if they sell it in the States for about $11, but I got mine from makeup, no, from Pro Makeup KE on Instagram. But I think they are also stocking this now on the Maybelline stands. So just go and have a look. I, hope, I don't know if they've got the full shade range, but I got this shade um, from Pro Makeup KE for $18.50, $1,850, which honestly, I think is totally, totally worth it. I'm just going to brighten a little bit and then go in to contour a bit on the edges of my face. I don't even feel like I would need to set back and see. Like, it feels like it's just blended in to perfection. All right, to contour, I'm going in with LA Girl Concealer in Mahogany, which is a little bit on the dark side. I feel like I need to go one or two shades down. But we're going to blend it in. And hopefully get the desired look. So back to the sponge. You know what? Mm. This isn't blending out as well as I wanted it to with a sponge. I might have to go back in with a brush. Oh God, it feels like it's just sitting there. I feel as though the foundation kind of um, holds on to anything that you put on top of it. So like, it's really kind of like sucked onto that concealer. It just needs a little bit more attention than when blending. You can see quite how harsh that line is, but I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and we can some powder. I'm gonna go in with some powder bronzer and contour and then hopefully we can get rid of that harsh line. This foundation, guys, I don't know what to say. I don't even feel like I need to set my under eyes, but I'm gonna do it just very, very lightly. Um, I'm gonna do it just very lightly, but I don't know what to tell you. When guys were claiming that this is like a high-end foundation, there was no lies to being told there. Like, the coverage, the finish, um, it feels lightweight on the skin, so you don't feel like you're getting weighed down. I'm just... I'm just sold, guys. <laughs> I love it. Like, I love it. Go and get you this foundation. Right, should we finish up the rest of the face? A few minutes later. All right, guys, this is the finished look. Um, is there much that I haven't told you already about this foundation? I am in love. It is... I mean, I knew there was hype surrounding this product, but you know sometimes when there's hype, you're just like, you don't know whether it's legit hype or like false hype or whether guys are being kind of paid to promote a product and make it sound better than it is. This foundation is amazing. I mean, Maybelline have been killing it lately with these foundation launches. And um, so 
I think this so far I mean I haven't worn it out for the full day and kind of seen how it wears on um but so far I think it is incredible I love the finish I love the coverage even that I was able to get that level of coverage with a sponge so I don't know what I would manage to get if I used a brush oh the fact that it comes with a pump is amazing this white lid is already semi filthy so um that's probably not the best to have a white lid on dark colors so that will be dirty pretty quick but the fact that it comes with a pump for that price is amazing the only 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 gripe and it is an important gripe for Maybelline is that this should 100% definitely come in a larger shade range I'm not sure whether 362 is the last shade that they make available but I suspect that it is um, and given that it is very similar to 360 which before in the fit me line before they expanded this shade range 360 was the darkest shade so given that these are basically the same kind of color and maybe it has been able to successfully formulate the fit me line um, in darker shades then there's no excuse why this doesn't come in darker shades so I hope they're not going to wait too long if you are a darker skin beauty hopefully you can get your hands on this um, soon Maybelline Maybelline we're all screaming for it please give us darker shades especially in Africa like we need these shades yeah <laughs> so give us the shades we're asking for them and um, so if you are around my shade or if you are around my shade, then I think you can get away with the 362. If you feel like it is a little bit light, then do as I did and contour around the edges and bronze around the edges so that the brightness is in the center of your face and then you kind of work around it on the perimeter. Um, so if you can find your shade, then definitely pick this up. I think it is worth every single penny. The hype is real. I think I've said enough about this. So let me stop rambling. I think you've gotten my feelings about this foundation. Yeah, so if you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried this foundation or if it's on your list. Yeah, share some love. I'd love to chat to you. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.